Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're making Irish buttermilk brown bread. You may have had this before. It is a hearty bread that is slightly sweet, buttery, delicious, heavenly. The Irish have it right on this bread. You do not need any yeast. You don't even need a mixer. And it's done in under an hour. Fresh bread. Mmm. Who doesn't like that? I can't think of anybody. Have I made this before? No. Am I sure that this is going to turn out fantastic? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm also making it because it's been since the very last St. Patrick's Day that I thought about making this bread, but nothing compares to you, to you, to this recipe, to the Irish brown bread, nothing compares, nothing. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees and then grease your cast iron pan. It should be about eight to nine inches. This is 12. So mine might be a little bit thinner than yours, but it's still gonna be delicious. You could also use a one and a half to two quart dish. Start with the dry ingredients. Four cups of Irish style wholemeal flour, or this is whole wheat flour, four cups. Three tablespoons sugar. One teaspoon salt. Half teaspoon baking soda. One teaspoon baking powder. Whisk together. Now for the wet ingredients. Instead of using buttermilk powder, I have one and a half cups of buttermilk. One and a half cups water. One large egg. Four tablespoons melted butter. Or you could use vegetable oil. Mix together. Make a well in the center of the dry ingredients. Add the wet ingredients. Mix until there are no dry spots. This will be more batter-like than dough-like, and that is exactly as it should be. Put the dough in your pan. My pan's a little big, so it's gonna spread out a bit. That's okay. Brush the top with a tablespoon melted butter. Wait five minutes for that butter to start soaking into the flour and then into the oven into the oven for 35 to 45 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean from the center, just like a cake. Time's up, let's check it. Clean. Oh, let's take it out. We get to eat this warm, but I'm gonna let it sit in the pan for just a few minutes. So just and then we take a bite. Here is that lovely, delicious Irish buttermilk brown bread. It smells delicious. Only one thing left to do, and that's to taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It is a very soft bread, almost tastes delicate, even though it doesn't look it. It tastes it, and it's just a little bit sweet and a little bit hearty with that whole wheat, so it's nutritious. And it was so easy to make. What's not to like? Nothing compares to this, pretty much. That's right, nothing compares. If I can make Irish buttermilk brown bread for the very first time with you watching me every step of the way, you can too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your family and friends, make the recipe, check me out on Instagram, and let me know what recipes you'd like me to make.